Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a big announcement today. I am going to be doing my very first giveaway. I am giving away a palette and a lip gloss, which you will see at the end of the video. So keep watching. Um, I'm doing this because I re reached 50 subscribers on my Facebook page. I have my Facebook and my Twitter page down below on the damn bar. Go ahead and like those. I give all of my updates through social media. I feel so lucky to be able to be doing this. This has always been a dream of mine to make YouTube videos. I've been talking about it for a long time and I'm finally making it happen and I want to thank you guys for supporting me. I out for it. I am wearing the items today in my look. I'm really excited. Keep an eye out. Oh, I just flashed it to you. Don't look. Don't look at it. Today I am doing a requested video uh, from one of my Facebook viewers, Amber. So I decided to focus today's video on specifically on drugstore items that I tend to use on an everyday basis. Now all of the colors, or all of the colors, all of the items that I do have today are pretty neutral colors. Um, they're all like pink, browns, and corals. Trucks in the background. Oh, totally forgot to tell you guys, I'm at my grandma's house this weekend. So, welcome to my grandma's house. She lives in Idaho. It's awesome. She's, it's great. So, I'm at her house, so thanks to grandma for letting me record here. And, and grandpa, and grandpa, of course, as well. Anyway, <laughs> let's go ahead and get uh, on with the video. So, the first thing I want to discuss is eye primers. Eye primers are so important especially for your everyday looks because typically when you're doing an everyday look you want it to last all day so you're going to work you're going to school uh, you're going out on some sort of date you want to make sure that your eyeshadow is going to last all day and that it's not going to crease my very first eye primer I ever tried was the elf one and it is a dollar so awesome so as you can see this um, the elf eyelid primer is just a neutral color um, you just blend it into your eye your eye <laughs> on your eyelid and it just helps the pigmentation of all of the colors that stay on your shadows. This is a must for me in any makeup collection and it's only a dollar. Go and get it. I use this just as often as I use my high-end items. Another item from the drugstore that is similar to an eyeshadow primer are the color tattoos. Now I know there are tons of hype around about these on YouTube but it is because they are awesome. Everything is awesome! Everything is cool when you're part of a team. You guys better know what that's from. That's my grandpa. Hi, grandpa. Hi. <laughs> anyway, so these come in a variety of colors and uh, finishes. You can find these at most drugstores. They run about $9. All they are is they're just in pop form, so you just put your finger in. And uh, the color I specifically have, what is this? This is barely branded. It is from the Meadow Collection, and it's just a nice, neutral, um, kind of champagne-y shimmer color. It just intensifies the color. It helps them last long, and these don't crease on me, so I actually really enjoy them. I have this one. I also have a purple one and a, like, taupey brown color one. Well, it's probably more of a rich brown, and I enjoy all of them. Along the same lines of the eye tattoos are a rather, a kind of new, a newer product. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm just, I'm just going to keep on talking. <laughs> are a newer product from e.l.f. They are the uh, eyeshadow pots and I know I've mentioned these in pretty much like every video I've ever freaking done on YouTube but this is a holy grail item for me especially this color Cruisin Chic. I have three of them. I have the gold one, this one, and then also the light pink shimmery one. This one is my favorite. This is probably my most go-to item. All I do, because I do work early in the mornings, and honestly, I never really go into work with makeup. So I typically do my makeup on my break, and since it is on my break, I have to do it really quick. What I do is I get some of this on my finger and swipe this... swipe this across my lid, add some mascara, and I'm good to go. It's a very like moussey texture and it's just like so beautiful. These wear longer on me than the 24 hour or um, on the color tattoos and I just I just love this color. I wear this probably th three times a week. Oh, so for those of you who have early morning schedules like I do, so teachers, students, this is going to be a great option for you. They have a wide color range. Well, not really wide. I think there's like 8 or 12 colors, and it's just super simple. I love this. I cannot, 
I'm gonna have to stock up on these because if I ever not didn't have this, I don't know what I would do. My next product is probably my next most used item. They are the Wet n Wild eyeshadows. Now I know everyone is like bomb diggity about about these because they are amazing. For drugstore price, you get amazing quality. These are, I believe, are four dollars. Anywhere from like three to four dollars and they have eight pen palette shadow or shadow palettes as well that I believe run for eight dollars so that's a dollar shadow maybe less I don't know I have a few of these I only brought these uh, with me to my grandparents but these are my two favorite they are walking on eggshells and sweet as candy as you can tell they are very old and loved Walking on eggshells was the very first one I ever got it has a nice crease color or a brow bone a crease color and an all-over lid color um, it's also really nice because on the back of these, they do have instructions telling you where to put each eyeshadow, and they label them on the shadows as well. These are so well pigmented. All of these shadows in this Walking on Eggshells uh, Walking on Eggshells palette, or trio, I guess, are uh, dupable for MAC shadows. Don't have those MAC shadows because I believe I've mentioned this to you guys before, but I'm just barely getting into the MAC scene. So I'm still a little bit low on, <laughs> on my uh, products for MAC, but I do know that, the, that they are um, dupable for, for MAC shadows. Typically the limited edition ones aren't as well pigmented, I find, as the just um, regular line, like the walking on eggshells, or what was the other one I had? Where, 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 where'd it go? No, sweet as candy. Sweet as candy, uh, so these are, these are definitely my choice over the limited edition ones or the, um, the ones with five colors, but the ones with the eight, the eight pan palettes, so great. My next drugstore buy that you can use for a lot of uh, everyday looks are the eyeshadow, uh, Maybelline eyeshadow, Maybelline Eye Studio eyeshadow quads. Now, all of these are shimmer. These don't have any matte colors in their line, but the pigmentation is awesome, and the colors swatch beautifully. I mean, look at how pigmented those are. Those are. Now, the great thing about these palettes are they have tons and tons of color options. They have purples, they have blues, they have uh, coppers. This one, this one specifically is Copper Chic, number 70. They have browns. All of them are beautiful. All of these shadows you can wear on your own. You can also build a beautiful, complex eye look with these. So great. I just dropped my applicator. These shadows are so buttery. Like, I have never felt anything like these at the drugstore and it's very rare to actually find eyeshadows this soft. All of these are hits in my book. The only issue is they're always shimmer. They don't have huge chunks of glitter in them. They're just a nice uh, shimmery color. Let me go ahead and swatch these for you. Now, that is without a primer on my hand. I did use a primer for the Wet n Wild, but these do not have a primer. You can't really see the like champagne -y color. Oh, well, there you can kind of see it. Look at how pigmented those are. One swat, one swipe. So pretty. Lastly, got some aside nudes. <laughs> nudes. The Nudes palette. This is brand new from Maybelline. I have been looking for this everywhere. Finally came across it. It is like the first eyeshadow palette that I've seen like this from a drugstore brand besides like NYX, because NYX does have palettes like these. But this is this palette. Look at how pretty those colors are. Now, the pigmentation on these do need a little building up, especially with the lighter colors. Some of the colors are very pigmented on their own, but the lighter colors I do find need building up. You will need primers with this. I got this for $10, however, I do believe it retails for $11.99 or $12.99. This palette has 12 shadows. As you can see, there are a lot of great neutral colors, a lot of deeper colors, um, and some uh, some fun shimmery ones in there as well. This is going to be a great beginner's palette for anyone who doesn't want to go out and spend the $50, $60 that you can find at Sephora or Ulta or Macy's or whatever. This is going to be a great palette for someone who's beginning because a lot of the times, you know, if you swipe a color on and you're like, crap, there's too much, then you have to start all over. Don't have to worry about this that with this. So I've swatched all of these on my arm. I will go ahead and show a bit of better picture. I wanted to get uh, 
my most neutral part of my skin, so I got my weird arm. But here are the swatches. We'll be able to see in the picture. The lighter colors do have a lot of uh, issues with actually appearing on the skin, especially um, this. Uh, it's a it's a peachy pink on camera. It's looking a little bit more white, but it is a very peach color. Talking about some of my favorite colors. I love this like um, this matte grape brown. Super pretty. Um, this copper color is beautiful. That one's super, super pigmented, as you can tell. Um, the black is, it's, it's a, it's a normal drugstore black. Now, it's not, it's more like a, um, I'm shaking. <laughs> it's not like a midnight pitch black, but it's like a very deep charcoal gray black. Um, it actually swatched pretty well on my, on my arm. There are seven shimmers and then four mattes. The mattes actually do pretty well in this palette. Uh, the only thing I would have liked to see is I wish that the lighter colors would have had a little bit more pigmentation and also uh, that there was a mirror in the actual compartment because that would be a great size mirror for a product like this. On the back, they have instructions on how to use certain colors. They've set it up so you can use them in duos, trios, and also um, quads. So that is the Nudes palette by Maybelline. Here, woo! Brand new, brand new in the drugstore. Pretty good, pretty good. Now, for the exciting news, I have a giveaway. I have an extra palette for the giveaway, and I also have the lip gloss that it, the lip gloss that I'm wearing this is a MAC lip gloss this is lots of last it is from a limited edition collection so I am doing a giveaway of both of these products this uh this MAC lip gloss is a beautiful pinky peach color it is on the brighter side it's it's kind of like a a bright nude I don't know if that's possible, but that's what it is. Um, it's perfect for the summertime. The lip glasses are a little bit sticky, but they're not like gloopy, if you know what I mean. So they stay on your lips perfectly. All you have to do to win this palette is leave a comment in the comments section down below. Oh, I guess the palette and lip gloss. Please leave something substantial like your favorite eyeshadow look or a video you would like me to see. Anyway, that concludes my video for today. Thanks so much for watching. Amber, thank you for your suggestion. Please let me know if there are any other videos that you guys would like to see. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I'm so grateful for you guys. Thank you so much for always being so kind to me. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. There won't be a kitty clip today because she's at home. Giveaway! Giveaway!